Well, hello, servus, gruetzi, g'day. Tolly here, once again, on the new, brand new Toloscope. Done the renaming, done all the branding, all of that sort of thing. Ah, thank God. Um, I want to get back to basics here um, and hit the ground running with a bit of a tutorial on uh, two point perspective. Two. Um, with an horizon line, of course. You probably all know this by name, um, but we're going to go into the basics of forming a shape within a two point perspective environment. Um, so the first video I'll narrate and um, and let's get into it. Let's start with a blank page here. And I'm going to drop in my horizon line, which I um, clearly neglected to label. X vanishing point on the left. Y vanishing point on the right. Now it's a matter of joining the dots. So I've drawn one vertical in there for the front edge of a cube. And now I'm just joining the dots. And I always remind my students, I'm not actually drawing a cube here. I haven't drawn this cube. All I've done is join the perspective dots and the cube forms itself, which I then am just defining here, giving a bit of shadow. Now I'll just drop the front edge of another cube in below that. You can put them anywhere. This perspective, two point perspective rule, um, functions on any straight straight up surface that's that's not tilted or angular it can also work there but that's another lesson that's another video so again joining the dots here just joining dots define where you want your object and then join the dots from where You've placed your points and your cube will form itself or your your rectangle or your oblong and so that is a very um, neat quick example which you can practice of two point perspective all the parallel lines on the object go to um, on the right hand side of the object go to the Y vanishing point all the parallel lines on the left hand side go to the X vanishing point now just to make it a little clearer for our finished object I'll just fill them in with a bit of white And voila. So as you can see, two point perspective on the page, very simple. It's a join the dots thing. Um, let the perspective do the drawing for you. Now in real life though, when you're looking at an object, looking at a building, um, looking at the pub across the road, looking at a train station, there are no vanishing points. And this is where people tend to trip up. They can't do it on the page. Of course you can't, because we can't see 180 degrees. And so we need to squash it down for the practice of perspective drawing. But in reality, you need to imagine where those vanishing points will be. And the way you do that is get indications from what it is that you're drawing. Uh, but in this case, I'm gonna do a short video to follow up on the um, on the two-point perspective and it's two-point perspective with vanishing points that you can't see so you need to make a gradient from you you designate where your horizon line is going to be and you make a gradient from there and the vanishing points are well off the page this is what it's more like when you are drawing from life in a real situation so let's just get into that little video now so, of course, real life doesn't fit on a page. And so we're going to try something which is the way you will draw 
when you're drawing from life um, in a real situation where there are no vanishing points on a page. You can force them, but then it's all very tight. But if, when you want to draw from reality, then the vanishing points are well off the page. You can see them disappearing. So I've just put in some, uh, what I call a fan of perspective. So I actually designate how severe, how strong that perspective is going to be. This is a nice slight perspective with a, a few very light fan lines you'll see I've begun with there. And again, I just join the dots. You lay the grounding for your object and then you join the dots. So that's why I always say that drawing is easy, although some people choose to um, dispute that. But th these are the rules. The rules are, are quite fundamental and um, in the next video I'll be doing something a little more interesting. So there you have it. Two point perspective on the page and two point perspective imagined by you. More for the use in real life drawing. Um, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, and if you do want to see something like uh, One Point Perspective, then I'll draw it for you. Just subscribe along and uh, leave me a comment and a request and I'll get onto it. In the meantime, enjoy your drawing and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. Tschüss!